Salutations, everybody. It is Maddie here today with the in-depth analysis for the brand new Cyberpunk 2077 cinematic trailer featuring Keanu Reeves. This one was quite the pleasant surprise at Microsoft's E3 2019 press conference. And what we're going to be doing is breaking down as many of the narrative details that we can dig out of this and also comparing and contrasting with other material that we have about Cyberpunk 2077. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. The first notable detail is when we see V exit the car and we realize that this trailer will be focusing on the male version of V. For those who don't know, V is actually the universal name that'll be used whether you pick male or female for your character in Cyberpunk 2077. So it was interesting actually to hear the voice actor for V and how great of a job he does, just as well as a job as the female one did. But also, the famous samurai jacket is here in this trailer as well. For those who don't remember, female V was actually able to equip this during the gameplay reveal of Cyberpunk 2077, where it increased the street cred leveling speed by 5% alongside some resistances to thermal, physical, EMP, and chemical damage. One interesting detail to note, even though this is a cinematic trailer, so we don't know if this will represent the gameplay, but I thought it was cool to see that the cityscape sort of represented what we saw in the initial reveal trailer of Cyberpunk 2077. I'm talking way back before The Witcher 3. When you look at the cityscape at nighttime during that trailer versus what we're seeing here in this screenshot from a 2019 trailer, it's sort of cool to just see the same vision carrying over despite all those years. You know, development's such a crazy and confusing thing. Visions can change, beliefs can change so it's cool to see that they're carrying over what they've always believed night city should be depicted as by its source material at this point in the trailer we see v inside the no tell motel going to meet up with dex one of the characters we actually meet in the cyberpunk 2077 gameplay reveal now this part highlights an astute attention to detail by cd project red when creating this trailer and i imagine we're going to see this mimicked inside the full game because you can hear through the doorway into when v enters the room actually the audio from the tv foreshadowing some of the actions that V and Jackie had taken previously. I thought this was really, really neat. So take a listen. I feel this scene builds a strength in the game that you don't see in many others, and I'm going to explain why. Because in the gameplay reveal, Dexter Deshaun was described as a major player in Night City, and you've caught his attention, and he wants you to work for him. But meanwhile, you're meeting him in this shabby motel. There's moody lighting upon entrance. We can see some shady figures that you have no idea what they're doing. You can get this feeling just by the way the environment is crafted, the lighting and how that's handled, that something's off here, that you're not working working with the cleanest folks and I found this actually really well done to sell the player on something without actually directly telling them something. Now this is the part where I feel we can really start to dig out some narrative details and not just talk about nuances, attention to detail that CD Projekt Red always has. Let's talk about how we can connect some story info to this trailer. So at this point we have Dex raining us with praise upon entrance and V just says I want the money man just let me go I want the money. This indicates that V has been in bed with Dex for quite some time and just wants out of this it's in contrast to the trailer we saw last year at e3 where v and jackie were celebrating that they pried the doors open they're messing with the major players they're getting paid they're getting the money and then they're gonna get out fast hey mr dex get us that table at the afterlife hmm, matter of fact i did just in my gut and all you know well, you were right too. That was their plan, but it doesn't seem to be going according to that, considering that in this trailer, we do know that Jackie dies. So I find this really, really interesting because now we see things going down the wrong pathway. And this seemingly could be connecting to the middle part of the game, perhaps if Jackie's passed, and it could also be pertaining to choices that the player makes. It may not end up going this way, and perhaps you can stay on Dex's good side. So just some interesting dots being connected between the end of the gameplay reveal and what's happening here. One of the strangest aspects of this trailer is absolutely the chip. It is in V's neck. Jackie dies for it. Dex celebrates her entrance about the fact that you have this chip. Yes, that's so great, but he also beats the snot out of you because V didn't handle it all that well. What is so special about this chip? Well, I did a little bit of research on the tabletop version of the game because I know a lot of source material is taken from that and put into this game. They did mention two different types of chipware, reflex and memoryware. They also mentioned in the wiki a small transparent silver chip about an inch long. I thought those details correlated with what I was seeing on screen. However, I do not have have direct experience with the tabletop version of cyberpunk so i cannot say definitively so however the gameplay reveal for cyberpunk 2077 does mention that dex 
is a fixer, and a fixer is defined on the wiki as a well-connected fencer, smuggler, and information broker who apply their trade on the black market. They are so well-connected to comings and going on the street, they can locate, acquire, and know about a desired person, place, or thing within their area of operation. I thought this was interesting to note because we see Dex clearly betraying us, at least it seems like a betrayal of some sort because V was caught off guard in his assault and throwing us into a dumpster pretty much at the end of all of this. So it means that he is the type of antagonist who could keep an eye on you no matter where you are at and has connections to many different places across the universe. So it could be setting up for him to be some type of antagonist or enemy in the open world, depending on your choices. But I thought that this may align more with what he actually is so obsessed with this chip over. He needs information and perhaps if it's memory wear, this chip contains that information he needs. He did send us for a bot of some kind in the gameplay reveal. So I feel tech is what drives this world in cyberpunk and it makes sense that he'd want it here as well. This, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, is where the trailer gets real. We see a gunfight ensuing, V and Jackie are making a hot escape, and Jackie gets shot on the way out. And as they enter the car, V is celebrating, thinking they did it, they're gonna be rich, it's all over now, but what happens? Jackie dies. I thought this was shocking for one major reason. It's because in the initial advertisement where 15 plus million people saw the opening gameplay for Cyberpunk 2077, Jackie is portrayed as your best buddy, your partner in crime, the lovable companion, and then he gets shot and killed in the following trailer. I thought this was really, really surprising because it shows, I believe, that CD Projekt Red's trying to emphasize your choices have consequences. Whatever happened during this mission that led to Jackie's death, I believe it's in V's hands, and that's why they see him also washing the blood off his hands. I feel there's some symbolism tied into that. I also found it quite interesting because we see the AI who's manning the armored cab telling you that you're going to the Notel Motel auto drive is on and when he even tries to change the destination and break the screen it obviously still took them to the Notel Motel because in the beginning of the trailer we saw bullet holes in the cab and obviously V got out meaning that this was happening directly after that mission there was no time in between for things to change so presumably Jackie was dead in that car. Naturally, as we all know, right upon exiting the bathroom, V is ambushed and gets the snot kicked out of him. And I swear, man, this guy's had quite a whirlwind of the day. But this highlights once again what I was emphasizing earlier, which is I think this trailer is trying to point out choice and consequence in a more cinematic way. No gameplay this time around. The reason I say all of that is because we see Dex getting in V's face and saying that despite V completing his objective, getting the chip, that they're bringing unwanted attention their way that every corpo cop in the area is going to be breathing down their neck and then he decides you know what screw that i'm going to get rid of v now and so i thought this was interesting because once again it highlights what you're doing in this universe is going to have consequences and characters that seemingly were going to buddy up with you are reacting in different ways contrasting to what we had originally seen it's really smartly done actually as the unraveling continues v takes out the man who is choking him out with his mantis blades but immediately after the lady who is sitting on the couch stands up and starts hacking into V's mantis blades because right as her eyes begin to glow a red and we can see sort of text filing up along her iris we see it switch to V's perspective where it says warning system breach mantis blades and then we see V look at his arms we see a little spark and it shows that his mantis blades have been disabled so he quickly reaches for his pistol in turn he takes out that lady and then when he goes to point it right at Dex you guessed it of course as any antagonist he takes you out first. I thought the way that this whole scene unraveled was really well done, but more than anything, it highlights an ability that presumably enemies will have in Cyberpunk 2077 in a way to neuter your melee approach or maybe your stealth approach if you are caught. And considering this is a game that's so driven by cybernetics, I feel that it's quite good to see enemies will be able to disable them with their own abilities. It actually reminds me a bit of the Typhon abilities in Prey and how when you caved more towards them, you became more of a Typhon. Same thing happens here in Cyberpunk where the more you become a cybernetic, the more easily you may be able to be disabled by these enemies. It's quite an interesting turn of events. 
And then to conclude the trailer, as if Cyberpunk 2077 was not awesome enough, they bring on Keanu Reeves to join the cast in the biggest hold my beer moment to Hideo Kojima and Norman Reedus. I swear, this is such a cool selection, but before we get into that, I want to note the body scan happening on the top right corner as V is seemingly activated after Dex took him out. We can see his vision is in a critical condition. We also see the memory is in a critical condition, meaning that Dex probably took this man apart, threw him in the scratch heap and hope that he would never show his face around him again and assuming that maybe no one would ever activate him again now when Keanu does step up to you which is something I never be expected to be saying this year he also says wake up samurai we have a city to burn now when he calls you samurai versus everyone calling you V I wonder if that indicates a bit of a connection between the two in the past that maybe we don't know about. I also wonder if this becomes a vengeance story because now Jackie is dead, it's created room for Keanu. Does this part of the story happen no matter what and Keanu becomes a major part of this game? I imagine so, celebrity cameos are designed to sell games and make them a big focal point of the product. It's not supposed to be something that you just jam in there and let it be a side objective that you encounter based off certain choices. I don't think CD Projekt Red would do something like that. But anyway, this was such a cool moment and that, ladies and gentlemen, does conclude my in-depth analysis for the cinematic trailer for Cyberpunk 2077 at E3 2019. I was really hyped to see this. I love Male V's voice actor. I was really sold on Female V and thought there was no way I could switch over, but I don't know, man. He made a good case for it, and I thought this trailer was gritty. I thought it was interesting. I thought it highlighted a lot of things that CD Projekt Red's trying to do with the game in terms of choice and consequence and a lot of symbolism, mood building. It was just great, man. So I'm stoked to see more of the game. It's coming out April next year, a little bit further than I ever wanted and expected, but I'll take it, man. Game looks fantastic. Cannot wait. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Be sure to point out anything maybe I missed in the comments down below. I am not perfect. I may have missed a detail or two. And like I said, I do not have experience with the tabletop version of the game. So maybe some more astute eyes would be able to point out things I had missed. But anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in to this. I hope to see you guys later on on the channel. It's going to be a really busy week. And I'll catch all of you very soon. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon to consider supporting that as a few all the content I create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.